on, on marketing generally, I, I mean, I, again, I think that the, the cheapest form of marketing is not full page adverts in the press. Uh, it's, um, it's free advertising. So uh, if you're up against a big corporation, um, you do need to use yourself uh, to try to get free advertising. And you know, try to do it in fun ways like that uh, so you, you stand out from the crowd. Try to make sure you, you, know, you end up doing something that hits the front page of the newspapers rather than the back page. Um, but you know, but uh, um, you know, obviously, we've gone to extreme lengths to try to you know, put Virgin on the map, you know, whether it's trying to be the first across the Atlantic in a hot air balloon or the Pacific in a hot air balloon. Or, um, uh, you know, uh, but, um, you know, but, it, it, but it did help, I think, you know, create the Virgin brand, make it a fun brand um, and a brand that people could identify with. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions that uh, the people in the audience actually submitted. So here's the first one. Uh, can you share with us a time when you really struggled in business and, have, and that you've overcome that adversity to become as successful as you've become? Well, I think if, if anyone's read my book, Losing My Virginity, they'll realize that uh, you know, for many, many, many years we were struggling. And I think anybody who starts off in business without financial backing uh, it's one long struggle, and that there's only really one word uh, that matters, and that, that, that's uh, to survive. To survive. Um, you know, to do everything you can to survive. You can't be thinking about you know people in Africa and sorting out their problems. You can't be thinking about the homeless, homeless on the streets in New York or in America. You just got to survive, so that one day, hopefully, you can get yourself into a position where you can uh, worry about other people. Um, and a lot of companies do not survive. I mean, in fact, the majority of uh, people who um, start from start from scratch without financial backing uh, uh, go into Chapter 11 or go bankrupt on at least one or two or three occasions before they um, finally manage to make it. And 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 so uh, so survival was key. We, we the, there's a very thin dividing line between survival and success is fun uh, in business because I am a big, big believer of just uh, having fun. I'm a total goofball and I love everyone here to all the hard work they do as entrepreneurs to just have the philosophy that make business and make life fun and you're a perfect example of that. So any thoughts or advice you can give on that? Well, personally, I think it's really important. Um, but yeah, it, it's, And it's particularly important that the, 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 the chairman of the company is willing to let their hair down and have fun. Uh, so much of one's life is spent at work, um, and it's you know, and it's critical that uh, that the people who work for your company enjoy it, that they that they uh, you know that they enjoy life, and uh, and it's up to you know the presidents of companies and the chairmen of companies to make sure that our people have a good time, and we've got to. You know, I mean, you, you really want a director of fun in the company if you if you if you if you can afford it, who can, you know, make sure that the, you know, that you can get that the staff can get into the, the local nightclubs at a you know reasonable price, and you know you you, you know make make sure they can, um, uh, you know make, you know make make sure they can be entertained if there's a big you know if, if there's a big band coming into town, you know go out of your way to make sure you can secure tickets maybe at a discount price for your staff and so on. So. Uh, make sure your staff ha ha have fun, and um, and it's a lot more fun being the chairman of the company in that sort of in that sort of company as well.